All right, so I seen in um, a vlog, and I I don't know if you still feel this way, but you were say you said something like goods didn't really have nothing. Like like people who say goods won. Like what did he say that was like a strong bar or something? And I I, I took a little bit of notes and I wrote a couple things down. So I just want wanted you to get tell me a thumbs up or thumbs down of what you thought of this bar. All right, so he 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 spit the first part and then he but already give it a thumbs down because I don't like it. <laughs> but hold on, hold on, listen to this though. Listen to this real quick. He said uh, he said some stuff and then he said, "You think we care about a gold album? I really went gold in these streets." And that was how that's, he that's trash because somebody already used that. Do your research. He stole that line. So you can't steal lines in battle rap. That's a violation. You should already lose. And I'm glad you brought up a line that he did steal so mm -hmm. I can show y'all that's why niggas not fucking with me. That's a clear example. But if you uninformed and you don't know, then you'll just think that's fire. You won't even know that he stole that line. Somebody else already said that. And what the fuck do that mean? You went gold in the streets. What do that mean? Because gold means selling 500,000 records. So what did you sell 500,000 of in the streets? Not no drugs. You're not known for being no drug dealer. You don't sell guns. You're not a... What do you do? What did you... What did? How did you go gold in the street? And you didn't sell no copies in the street like mixtapes. You're not that type of rapper. Like, yo, I'm an independent gold nigga. You're not that type of artist neither. You never sold not one record in the street. So mm. what did you mean by that? That was just a dumbass line that people give niggas credit for that I don't. I don't accept shit like that because that shit don't apply to me. It don't make sense. So when you say that line, it don't affect me at all because it don't even make sense. I really went gold. You was trying to get a deal with the same nigga that I went gold with, the same nigga that I had to deal with and I went gold Ooh. with. You was trying to get a deal with and couldn't. You been trying to get a deal your whole life and couldn't get a deal. I turned deals <laughs> down my whole life. And I really got plaques on my wall and you don't have nothing on your wall. Nothing. So who, what type of line is that? That's not a dope line. That's like you insulting your own self. <laughs> All right, well, well, look, there was a bar that you said in that battle that was similar to somebody else's bar. So I'm gonna I'm a run this by you real quick. So it was a heartless bar, heartless battle, big cannon way back in the day. And he said something, nobody fucks with your bars and and because you ain't got no hooks or something he was talking about a song but you said a bar that was similar to that i'm not gonna say it was biting but it was similar it was similar Yo, I watched the heartless battle before so like it it's like I, yeah. I use every bar in the world like all of this shit that they do in battle rap i originated like i could pull up shit that i did that everybody doing battle rap that I did before battle rap existed. So don't like, it's going to be similar things that people say, but I yeah. never did nothing in my fucking life. Like if anything, heartless to tell you that itself, like he'll get on the phone right now and let you know that that's the case. Like, why would I bite heartless? Not knocking him, but I've never seen that battle with him say nothing like that. Like, right. come on, man. Type of nigga, I write for other niggas. I give other battle rappers bars. <laughs> Wild niggas that won battle raps, they won with bars that I gave them. So it's like, come mm -hmm. on, man, I'm not that type of nigga. I don't do. I write for, I write for platinum niggas. I write for legends, niggas that's legends that got multiple platinum albums. I'm talking about niggas that's going down in history that you never gonna be able to forget about. I wrote for them niggas. So why mm -hmm. would I be? Why would I take a bar from Heartless a nigga? I don't even know how he looked. Like you saying heartless, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't even tell you how that nigga look or what he do or nothing. So that don't even I make no you. sense. I feel you. I feel you. All right. Um, here's another. I'm heartless. Like I don't want that nigga jumping out there. You you know. Like uh, you probably doing your thing and you probably got a lot of fans and all that, but I, I'm just not familiar with you. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I respect it, no doubt. All right. Here's another goods bar that that got some reaction. I thought was kind of dope. Um, he said, "When I'm talking about good stealing lines, though, I'm not talking about he stole lines like yo from my cousin Mo up the street. I'm talking about he stole lines from songs that charted, songs that was out, hit record songs that oh, charted. Oh, oh, okay. That like Red Man and niggas that's legends. He stole from them, and you talking about Damn. heartless. Come on, that's Damn. different. That's the difference. 
Yeah, yeah. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. I was just pointing I out something. I'm breaking down the difference for you, like, and okay. the people that tuned in just in case they don't know. Right, like, no doubt. Just, but now, like, nah. He bit a line from a line that I know he heard because it's a charted song and everybody heard the shit. You talk about the heart <laughs> that don't even got that many views, so it's only a little bit of people in the world that could have seen that shit. Yeah, you right, you right, for sure. All right, look, here's another uh, Goods, Goods bar. He said he was talking about how you was he, how you was jumping and rolling in Bentleys with Swiss, and then he said that Maybach was way back. Um, now you got nothing to show for it. I thought that was hard. Oh, that's another line he stole when he was actually at the battle or at the at the place where the person said that line. He was actually there. And um, you could go on YouTube. My people's already put this up. He was actually at the battle when a person used that line and then he said it against me. But he said it even worse than the first person said it. But first of all, I never had a Maybach. I never claimed no Maybach. I'm not on Maybach music. I never claimed to be in the Maybach. And I never claimed to have no show, chauffeurs. So that line don't apply to me anyway. So even if he didn't steal it, even if he didn't steal it and it was his, it still wouldn't apply to me. Because who, when did y'all ever see me in the Maybach? Like talking about I'm the Maybach boy with a chauffeur. I never was that type of nigga. I had big wheels, but it wasn't the Maybach. And I always was driving the shit myself or have my niggas driving me. Right. Okay. Okay. Talk, like, what is it? What do you mean? That shit don't apply to me. And what do we mean? I just was like, what are he talking about? Like, he the one that, like, that shit don't apply to me, bro. That's 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 just that battle rap shit that I'm talking about. When you say it, niggas will say, oh, and they'll go crazy. Like, you just said some crazy shit. But that shit don't even mean shit. That shit ain't shit. So you you don't think that that bar has no? It, it, it's basically it's not the exact oh show for a Maybach, but he it, it's a bar about trying to say that you're not popping like you used to, I, which is I, so he stole the line and none of that shit don't apply to me. The Maybach, the chauffeur, how am I popping like I used to? I still got wheels. He don't have nothing. The type of money that I made for that battle against Goods, he will never make in battle rap. He gonna have to battle about 20 times to make the money that I made battling him. So how was I popping back then when this is what you do? You battle rap. I don't battle rap. You battle rap. And I come back and I'm getting fucking 20 times the amount that you get. But I need this. I need to, I'm not popping no more. How? I'm hey, viral that, now. That's a good Still point. That's a good point. I, I was viral a lot of times during quarantine. I don't know if you um aware of it. But during this lockdown, I went viral a lot of times now because I'm popping. I got a fan base that's huge. Niggas love me. Wow. I always put out music that's streaming and doing numbers. The biggest numbers that he ever did was our face off and our battle. That's the type of energy I give up. So how was I used to be popping? I'm still popping. That's why he's still on my dick. That's what I mean. Yeah, you you make a good point. I so, can't deny it. That line, I'm, I don't respect it. That's why if a nigga going, oh, on the stage, that's why I'm looking at him like he's stupid because that shit don't make no sense to me. Okay, all right. I want to hear what you think about this one because <laughs> this is a hard bar. I don't care what you say on this one, but listen to this one. He says, uh, I guess he was talking about moving work on the streets at the first part, and he finishes off, they marvel how I make the blocks move like Dr. Strange. I ain't even gonna tell you who wrote that for him, but let's move on, man. <laughs> he marked how I make the blocks move like Doctor Strange. It's like, come on with that superhero shit, man. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck, man? Like, you don't make blocks move. What what do you mean by that? Blocks like bricks? You don't make blocks move. So what you meant by that? Like y'all just laugh and say it's a dope line, like y'all. That, that, what, what do you mean by that? What blocks you make move? When did y'all ever know anybody to say anything about him being a trapper ever? Like, what did you do? Like, how? So even if that was a dope line and all of that, like you said, that shit don't apply. It's not real. It's a bunch of fake shit. If niggas want to go up there and do a bunch of fake punches, anybody could think of figurative language and comparisons like Doctor Strange and moving blocks. It's like, ha, ah, wow. Anybody could think of shit like that if you're going to do a bunch of fairy tale shit, but it's hard to do it when you're talking about your real life. 
and shit that you could really go through and really been through and really could relate to. That's not what them niggas do. It's a bunch of fairy tale talk, and I don't respect that. That's all battle rap is now. Like, come on. Yeah, I do. I do agree with you on that. Like, it it, it needs to. And did the Marvel hero, superhero, Doctor Strange, and and you're gonna marvel this and all that dumbass. That shit is like so used. It's not like it's an original idea. All my punches I came out with is original ideas. I give these niggas direction. I didn't came out with these type of lines fucking before Smack existed. I done said lines like that, that, that my followers done pulled up already. Like, if you wanna go online, it's probably YouTube videos where they could show you that. Like, that's what I do. These niggas are just following a trend. I feel you. All right, some of the dope bars from you in that battle that I was feeling. Uh, I like that part when you finish it off. You said that line went over a lot of heads, like stocking caps. That was fire when you threw that out there. The one where you said, um, I think it was right before that. Me on fifth, on uh, on fit, me with the fifth on me, like I shop at Saks and I'm shoot stocking cap. You talking about the stocking cap line? Like people don't even get that. The stocking cap line wasn't even a punch. That's why people don't understand the way I rap. The stocking cap line was the set of the next line when I said I've been, I said something like, um, I've been, I, I, I do, I'm gonna do something. I've been wavy, do niggas <clears throat> greasy. I got it popping, some shit I got it popping. popping smack, yeah. It was up the waves and the grease and the stocking cap. It was like a whole scheme of some shit I did. But like people don't even be understanding my shit. They be stopping before it even get to the main thing because that's where they mind go. And they used to normal battle rappers doing that. That's what normal battle rappers do. They set it up and punch right there. So you expecting it to land right there because that's what you're used to. And when it don't, you don't understand it. Or if it don't hit hard is the normal punch because that's not the punch, you don't understand it. And that's why I don't even go back and forth with niggas because niggas that don't fully understand lyrics and never be under, able to understand how I'm the dopest because they'll judge it off a bunch of shit that don't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? But what really matters is bars and who's the nicest we're putting it together. And you got to really go by the science, not just by opinion. And, a and lot you got the history of the science, like where this shit coming from and originated. And if you don't know that, then you can't give a nigga credit off of uh, of perjury right and a lot of times in that in that first round like they was going crazy before you could finish it it's like you couldn't even get to your second and third layer of your bars because they was going crazy it seemed like it was dumbed down version there was so many layers in that like that like that was just an example of the layers right. but like that was the dumbed down version of it like that's old shit like you could go now i just put up something today yesterday i put up shit every day with me zoning out black and saying the best shit in the world not just better than battle rappers but any rapper like you know what i'm saying that's what i do and i consistently do that time and time again so if you want to hear dope bars you could go from 15 years ago 20 years ago 10 years ago 12 years ago eight years ago five years ago four years ago four months ago four days ago and there's all dope bars through that whole time period. Nobody else could say that. So you don't, we don't even gotta keep debating this one round of battle rap. That's all you could debate with them battle rap niggas. But I constantly do shit like, so I'm the nicest period all the way around as a rapper. I'm the best, I'm the GOAT. Nobody can fuck with me. That's hands down. So it's like this back and forth about goods. What happened after our battle? He fell off the face of the earth. He had another battle that nobody don't know about, nobody don't talk about, and he got destroyed. Now he can't even get a battle. He can't even get booked. He can't even get a bag. Hmm. Nobody don't know nothing about goods no more. He fell off the face of the earth. But niggas still trying to compare us. How? I'm popping. I'm litter than ever. And he fell off the face of the earth. So what's, what, what, what do that got? I mean, like, Let's use our common sense, man. I told you I got 20 times the money that man that got the battle him. Now he's nowhere to be found. He don't even exist no more. It's like that man died or something. And and I'm lit. You see you interviewing me now. Right. So it's like, come on. Like, well, why is we even talking about the ball? Like, I gave him the opportunity of a lifetime to battle me. That was a dream come true for him. And I'm happy I was able to do that. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm on to the next shit. 
Hey, uh, but one thing I really like about you, you know what I'm saying? You got the, uh, I don't know, the charisma, the it factor. Like, just how you mentioned earlier when you and your goods uh, face-off did a million views. Like, I don't think no other battlers face-off did a million views. And it's because of you. Not interesting. Nobody don't want to see them. Everybody want to see what's interesting and what's real, shit that they could believe in. And it's just too good to be true. That's why a lot of people want to see me lose. They can't believe that I'm just, I could just pop this much shit and get away with it. So that's why a lot of people want to see me lose, but it's not possible because nobody better than me. <laughs> that's right. That's right. 